Hi guys, it's Timmy with Yellow Sparks Joy. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a recap of all of the handbags that I bought in 2022. The year is almost over, so I decided I would take stock and bring you guys along with me. And oh boy, when I first started getting ready for this video, when I started prepping the outline, I thought to myself and I said, I did so much better this year than I did last year. Um, no. No, <laughs> that is totally untrue. So yeah, sit back and relax because this is going to take a while. So let's start in January. I think I did a pretty substantial amount of January of damage in January alone. And that was thanks to the um, holiday sale that Coach was having at the time. So the, the same sale that is actually going on right now, the holiday sale. So December into January. The first bag I bought, I bought my beat, beat clutch. This I also really wanted because I wanted the entire beat set. And okay, yeah, before I go any further, all my previous videos on all the handbags that I'm going to talk about in today's video will be linked in the description box below. So you can go and watch those for a more in-depth review and to see the unboxing and my first impressions. Okay, so the beat clutch, I bought this in January. I went into the store actually, I saw it. It was the last one on the shelf. It had some scratches already because it was the display model. Um, but I bought it anyway, and then I bought it from my home store in Calgary, and then I had them send it to the um, store in uh, British Columbia, BC. It's the uh, Burrard Street store in Vancouver. They are kind of like our flagship store in Canada. So I sent it to Burrard Street, and then that's where they had the customization done, because um, I think Vancouver and Toronto are, I think Edmonton also has Coach Create, but we have very limited stores in Canada where we do Coach Create. Burrard Street in Vancouver for sure, Edmonton I think does it, and then uh, Toronto, but Edmonton is closer to me, but when I called them and asked them about it, they were really being funny about it because I didn't buy it from them, and so I'm like, you know what, I'll just call Burrard Street, and they were working on my made-to-order rug at that time in Burrard Street, so they were very happy, more than happy to help me with the customization, so my store in Calgary sent this to Burrard Street store in Vancouver and they, they worked on the customization with me. That video, because I, I um, documented the process, will also be linked in the description box below. But yeah, ever since then, I don't think I've added any more scratches on this thing. And I've used it quite a bit. This is my, when I have nothing else to wear or when I can't figure out what else to carry, I always gravitate towards this bag. It does have a crossbody strap and I really love it. It holds all my essentials. And that's really all I need. So um, use-wise, I've used it quite a bit this year. Wear and tear-wise, it's not any worse than when I first got it. So, yay. And so after buying the Beat Clutch, I did want the entire Beat family. So I also bought the Beat Saddle in the color Red Sand. Now, I had almost given up getting this one because at that point in the sale, almost all the bags um, were sold out. And then I was just casually talking to my store manager um, in Calgary one day and she was like, oh, we have that one. I'm like, send it to me right away. And then that's how I got this. But the funny thing is, even though I love the color of this bag and I love the idea of this bag, I never used it. I've probably used this bag since January only once, maybe twice. And that's very sad. So I'm thinking, is my want for the entire Beats collection greater than letting this bag go? I'm leaning more towards let this letting this bag go. And to be honest, maybe after this video, I might just photograph it and list it on Poshmark for sale because I really don't use it. And it's not the type of bag where I'm happy just seeing it sitting pretty on my uh, shelf. There are some bags that I don't carry all that often and I don't mind looking at them, to be honest, because I think they're just great to look at. I just love that aesthetic value. I don't mind buying bags to just have them sit on my shelf. I'm really not against it. But this one, mm, no it's it's going to go but i loved it for the time that i had it but it's definitely going to go so that was the second bag i got in january from the semi-annual sale now the next bag i got in january is an is a michael kors bag and i went to the outlet in cross iron mills the outlet mall and i was just doing some browsing of course <laughs> in january and then i saw this bag and prior to now like if you've been watching my channel for a while you know how i did not like michael kors bags at all i was like nope don't bring Michael Kors near me. I do not. Because I have issues with Michael Kors quality. Let's just be honest. Their quality is not as big as their mouth is at all, in my opinion. But when I saw this Avril bag in the color flame, I love this red. So I'm not big on red, but when red is done really well, 
and I think this is done really well. I like it. So I saw it in the store at the outlet, Michael Kors outlet. I usually just go to Michael Kors outlet to buy ready to wear because I do like their clothing pieces. They're really nice and thick, good for the um, Southern Alberta weather. And so I went in there to buy a dress. I saw this, I went back, I looked at it again. I went back, I looked at it again. And then sales associate was like, you know, this is the last one we have. They had a couple of other colors as well. Silver, metallic silver, I think a white, but it, this really drew me in. And I love that shape. You know, I just love top handle bags, but then in this kind of like trapezoid uh, with wings aesthetic, I really love this style of handbag. And there's a lot of different designers that do this style. So it's not just a Michael Kors thing, but I liked the price point of this and I loved the red color. So I left, I actually walked away, left the store, went, continued my journey through the mall and then I went back and like she said, that was the last one and I ran back and I grabbed it and I've never, I've not regretted it. I've actually used this bag a whole lot since then, much to my surprise, more than many of my coach bags in fact, because it's just perfect for me. I just used it this last week for work. I use it mostly for work and it's the perfect size for a work bag for me i absolutely love it no scratches no wear and tear so far the leather is like a soft grain leather and i i really really like it i definitely will recommend this uh, style bag from michael kors this is the avril small size avril bag um in the color flame and finally in january i also bought the coach city tote from coach outlet now this is one i never really showed on my channel just because it was a city tote and i thought you know city totes are pretty popular out there plus i had a, another city tote previously in the brown monogram canvas with red trim um but i didn't really like that combination i wanted a tote where i could use it with different things like a colorful tote but still neutral at the same time and i thought the brown and red combination was kind of um I don't know there was just something about it i wanted something with more color options and i thought this was perfect because even though this is colorful it's still neutral you know because of that background and everything and i don't use totes that often so i thought if i was going to have only one tote i want that one tote that will go with everything and for every occasion possible so i got this one at the end of january from the outlet and it was on sale like on clearance so I think about 60% off. So I was very, very happy. This is from the Pride collection from 2021. Yeah, so I was very happy to get this. Tote. Moving on to February, I didn't slow down. I got three more bags in February. The first was my made to order rogue, which is this one in the beautiful 1941 red in the suede fabric. And then uh, with 1941 saddle, zipper, clochette, hang tag, all of those accessories and then the handle is also 1941 saddle and then the um uh hardware is black copper if i remember correctly or dark gun metal i always forget but one of those darker um hardwares now this i ordered um in 2021 so technically i paid for it last year but i received it in february of 2022 so it took seven months for it to be ready and that's because you know covid was still a huge thing at that time so that affected the processing and production times but i knew what i was going to i was going into they told me there was full disclosure they told me so much about it the essays uh, from Borat street store in vancouver really took good care of me i really appreciate all their help so i was very happy when this finally came i have not used this rug as much as should as i should probably have been a made to order rug but i have used it quite a bit um, I, I actually bought it because I wanted a made to order rogue. I just wanted that whole experience. I wanted to create something of my own and I did. I'm very happy with the bag. This is a bag that will never leave my collection, but I do use it sparingly. I use it as a work bag mostly. Um, I've I used it mostly in the fall. So when I got it, I got it in February. So that was winter. I didn't use it in spring at all, but I used it mostly in fall. I think that's another reason why I haven't used it so much because of the color combination. Um, so yeah love this one my need to order at rogue now these two cute quilties are the next two bags i bought in february there was a an extra 15 percent off sale at the coach outlet so these bags are coach boutique bags they're from the coach originals collection that were released i think in 2020 if i'm not wrong um, but they eventually made their way to the coach outlet on the reserve section now if you don't know the coach outlet receives bags from the boutique so from the full price mainline store and then they put it in their reserve section 
um, and then they sell them at a discounted price. So these two found their way to the reserve section and the coach outlets in February was having an extra 15% off everything on the website and in store. And I think these were about 60% off on the reserve section plus an extra 15% off, something like that. And so I took the opportunity and grabbed them this i had been looking at before that sale started and so i was very happy when the sale started to pick it up this i wasn't really interested in because of the color so i'm picky with my yellows and this is like an a, an orange yellow which i'm not so fond of but a lot of people were singing the praises of the swinger and especially the fabric which i agree with now do i like the color it's not bad but i just don't have many occasions to wear it too and i don't have many things to pair it with in my uh, closet but before i grab this bag i would grab like three other bags in my collection so um this is one i'm still thinking about i haven't used i think maybe i've used it only once since i got it in february so this is another one that i'm thinking i might let go i'm not sure now. it's pretty much in brand new condition like no scratches no wear and tear at all no stains at all because i've never really used it honestly um this one i have used i used it a lot during the summer i took it on vacation i dressed it casually I didn't dress it formally at all. I use this mostly as a casual bag. Like I haven't even used it during this holiday season. I'm hoping to, but I haven't used it yet. I use it mostly in summer, which is quite surprising because you would think it's a dressy bag, like a party bag, but no, I've used this a whole lot for casual outfit, like just jeans and a white t-shirt type of thing. I've even dressed it with all silver and all silver outfit and it totally works. So love this chill bags, 100% happy I got it. And I got it on sale for about 75% off or something. So yeah. Happy about that. Now, I did some more significant damage in March. <laughs> Starting with this beautiful Molly tote in the size 25. Now, prior to buying this Molly, um, I was a fan of the small town tote from the Coach Outlet. The Molly is from Coach Outlet. Um, they, this does have an equivalent style at the Coach Boutique. And if you want to find out what that style is, if you prefer boutique bags to outlet bags, I have a video on um, alternatives for Coach Boutique pieces from the Coach Outlet. So I'll link that below for you to watch as well. So prior to the, the Molly, I love the small town tote. I have two small town totes in my collection and it's a bucket style bag. And I like bucket style bags, but it was very easy to use, you know. Three compartments, two open compartments, one zipper middle compartment. And I love that configuration, especially for work. Enter the Molly tote. <laughs> if you had asked me before March, I would have said that my best and favorite bag from Coach Outlet was the small town bucket bag, but not anymore. Now the Molly tote is my favorite bag from Coach Outlet. I only have one though, which is very surprising because I feel like I should already have multiples, but all the ones I wanted, there's always something that happens when I want them. I wanted the yellow, the yellow one in retro yellow, which is a beautiful yellow. That one sold out before I could get it. I wanted the blue. I can't remember the name of that shade of blue. Also sold out before I could get it because I'm always waiting for it to go on clearance. <laughs> I'm always waiting for it to go on clearance before I buy it so I can get it at, at least 60% off. But then the Hunger Games begin and people just buy it out and I miss out. So I missed out on the blue and the retro yellow. And then um, there was another blue from this year. And I was kind of undecided about that one. So I passed on that actually when it went on sale. I just passed on it. This one, when it came out in the spring in March, I, did, I was like, you know what? I've missed out on two beautiful colors already. I'm not waiting for this to go on clearance. So I bought it full price at the outlet. So when I say full price, it's already discounted at the outlet. So I think it was about 40% discounted from the comparable price and so i bought it immediately it came out and i love this bag so so much absolutely love it i'm definitely still looking i shouldn't add any more bags to my collection i have enough but because of my love for this bag i'm definitely still looking to add more beautiful colors of the molly tote into my collection because for me it's a great work tote and i'm still working full-time i don't see that stopping anytime soon so i need work totes and i love this one i use it so much that cross grain leather is perfect no scratches no tears nothing on this bag since march and i've used it a lot i practically used it throughout the spring as my work tote i use it in the summer as well and now it's having a rest because it's winter, but it's so easy. Like I just throw all my things in there. It has a crossbody strap if I want to use it, but I mostly just use it as a grab and go with the top handle. It's just so, so easy. Love this bag. Will never leave my collection. 100% recommend the Molly Tote. And this color is in the Violet Orchid. Next in March, I bought the 
Coach Cleo top handle bag in this signature denim. Now this came out in spring, so it was kind of like an early summer release, but it came out in spring and I love denim. I love denim bags. Um, I totally fell in love with this one, particularly because it was a dark denim and then paired with that brown honey uh, Vachetta like leather. Absolutely love it. I also love the Clio line from the outlet There was just so many things to love about this bag and I got it immediately. It came out I think this is another one that I also got um, From the outlet immediately was released like without waiting for it to go on further sale. I used it uh, summer and fall so I think I've used it a fair amount and I absolutely love this bag I love the style, but I love it more because it is in the denim version. Would I recommend the Clio? Um, style as a bag to buy. I think it depends on personal preference. Will I recommend the Clio in the denim? 100% Next in March Tory Burch was having a sale. I think it was um, what was that sale day? The spring event Yeah, so Tory Burch was having a spring event and I just paid a visit very innocent visit to the store that day and I ended up Coming out with the Ella tote. This is the Ella puffer tote in the small size. They do have a bigger size um, when I think back, I feel like I should have bought the bigger size because the price difference wasn't that much. I really wanted a big um, black tote. So it was either this one or the um, puffy feel tote, the pillow feel tote in the size 40 from Coach. So I think I bought this small one with the mindset that I was still going to buy that feel tote 40 in the black pillow version from Coach, but I ended up not buying it. It sold out before it was even able to go on sale, which hurts my heart because I was waiting for it to go on sale, but it was already sold out before the sale started. Um, and so now in retrospect, I should have just bought the larger size of this because it still gives me that pillowy effect, even though it's in nylon, with leather trim which is great i use this mostly for like when i'm going out with my son and we just need to pack extras for him it's a great bag very durable very light so you can pack it with a with quite a number of things and the strap drop is great for shoulder carry if you want to carry it like that so the only regret i have with this bag is because um, i didn't buy the larger size other than that everything else is great i mean for a bag that i dump in grass i dump in sand it has done very, very well. No wear and tear at all. And finally in March, <laughs> I bought the bag of the year. Well, I shouldn't say that, but I love this bag and it was my coat cashings. I bought this one full price. I rarely, rarely buy bags full price from Coach Boutique. This one, I mean, I wouldn't have done anything different because I want, immediately came out I saw this blue and I was like, yes, this is the color blue fin. This is the best blue that coach has done. Right now they have the spot blue out and people are like, oh, spot blue is so pretty. No, mm -mm, mm -mm. no blue is better than the blue fin. <laughs> this is perfect. Um, this is the field tote. Um, this is the cashing carry in the size 32 with the thin straps. It does have two thicker crossbody straps. I have used this to work. Every single time I take this to work, I get compliments. My boss complimented me. My boss never compliments me about my handbags. He never even notices my handbags. He saw this and he said, that's a nice bag. That's how beautiful this bag is. So I use this quite a bit for work and I use it for travel once. I didn't enjoy it so much for travel because um, it doesn't have a zip closure and it was kind of too tall for underneath the seat in, on the plane. But other than that, I think it makes a great work bag for me i got this customized hand tag from the coach barrage street store in vancouver so that's the skyline of vancouver i think that's the only skyline we have for canada for the coach tags and then i got this from my own store when i went to pick up the bag so that's just my name customized there so absolutely love the cashin 32. where and tear i think there's minimal scratches i'm not sure but I think so because it is smooth leather. I can see one scratch here. But yeah, other than that, really nothing. No worries, no concerns, no regrets at all. Now in April, wow, January, February, March, April, four months straight, and I was buying bags. Tell me, what were you thinking? Mm. Anyways, <laughs> in April, I bought first the Michael Kors um, Mirella tote. So this is the Mirella tote in cotton canvas in the small size. They have this in a bigger size in lots of different colors. Uh, plain black, plain brown, plain blue, plain yellow, leather, canvas, different variations. This was a huge hit on TikTok. It went viral on TikTok in the summer, I believe. I bought this in April, so that was spring. Love this bag. I use this bag a whole lot spring, summer. It's just, it's a vibe. 
this bag is a vibe. It, it gives me Saint Laurent, it gives me Chloe. You know, almost every designer has this style bag. Not just the shape, but the whole uh, plain canvas look, you know, the whole summery beach vibe tote look. And I absolutely love this. So I use this as a work bag. I use this as a casual bag. I use this as a dressy bag. I took it to a restaurant once. I just used it a whole lot. Like, <laughs> no regrets. This is definitely a good summer bag. No um, wear and tear on the bottom. It doesn't have feet. So I was worried a bit about that, but looking good. The canvas is still clean. No stains whatsoever. Maybe, maybe next year I just might get the bigger size. Um, for the, I would definitely recommend this bag, but not in the plain colors. I think it looks really tacky in the plain colors. Um, in leather i think you, in my opinion it does you know you know how i feel about michael calls we already talked about that before <laughs> i think it looks tacky in those other variations but in the cotton canvas variation in the plain canvas variation i think i think this is the one that looks really high-end very you know i think mark jacobs think saint laurent you know it looks really high-end in this combination it does come in the black trim and the brown trim either one of those two i think are, are the best options to buy and after that, I also bought in April my Karl Lagerfeld Agnes bag in denim. Now, I bought the Agnes bag and the Michael Kors bag in the US when I went to Orlando. So I bought it at the malls there. And um, this one, I didn't even know existed until I went into the store and I saw it. Now, I do have a, a, an Agnes bag that I bought in 2020, 2021, 2020, I think. And I love the, that bag. Like from Karl Lagerfeld my favorite silhouette is the Agnes bag because of course it's your regular shoulder flap bag again another style that so many designers have but for Karl Lagerfeld the price point is really good for the quality you're getting so I would definitely recommend the Agnes bag from Karl Lagerfeld Paris this one I was pleasantly surprised to find in the store like when I saw it immediately I was drawn to it and I was like yes I want that because I just love the light denim i told you guys i love denim bags and since i already had the dark denim that i bought just a month before from coach i'm like yes i want a light denim bag so i got this one in the light wash and the frame is just so beautiful plus the pearls like everything about this bag just screams elegance and i think that's why i didn't use it as much as i thought i would because it's denim and so i thought you know it'd be a nice casual bag but when i look at it with the pearls and the frame i'm like no this is too elegant to just use with any casual for any casual occasion i need to be glam and go to you know really nice events but how many of those events did i really go to right i used this i'm not saying i didn't but i didn't use it as much as i thought i would in the spring and summer i think i mostly use this to church when i was going to church because i do dress up a bit to church but other than that i'm not even mad at all that i didn't use it that much I'm very happy to keep this. Like, this is the perfect example of a bag I'm happy to put on my shelf and stare at without even using. But I know I'm definitely going to get more use out of it next spring and summer. They also have it in a black denim. I am also looking for a black denim handbag. I definitely won't repurchase this in black denim. I already have this one. But Coach is coming out with a black denim collection. Signature C denim. Shh. Don't tell anyone I told you. And finally, in April, I bought the Longchamp Small Tote. This one is in the regular Longchamp um, Le Pliage version. And I bought this also in Orlando from the Longchamp outlet. Very beautiful wine color with that contrasting blue there. Kind of like a powder blue. And I got this mostly to use as a um, lunch tote for work. And it works pretty well. It's not like it's insulated or anything special for, for food. But I just thought I wanted something nice and i wanted longchamp and understated it. so i got it in this kind of like neutral color so this is probably my most used bag of 2022 because i use it as my lunch bag so i use it practically every day i don't take a lunch every day so maybe like twice a week so if i use this twice a week every week every month in the year this is probably my most used bag of 2022 and it works well for me just small nice and compact of course i can use it for many other things but it's just my designated lunch bag and i'm very okay with that so i took a break i guess in may <laughs> and then in june from coach outlet i bought this coach mini backpack uh, i can't remember the exact name of this backpack now but 
I bought this one and this is in the color retro yellow so you can see how beautiful that yellow is so I think I bought it more for the color than the backpack itself because I really don't use backpacks and so when I saw it I really wanted the color and I bought it and I was like you know this just looks like something fun I can carry when I go out with my son to like parks and things like that um I haven't used it much this part is very irritating because see how it goes in like that whenever I zip it open and zip it closed um yeah it's behaving itself right now but usually it just <laughs> it just goes in like that so it's very very annoying it does pack quite a bit which it packs more than you think it would uh which is a good thing but yeah i'm i'm really neither here nor there about this bag i just love i just love the color of it and i i got it in june that's pretty much all i can say about it now also in june i'm from coach outlet they released the mini Rowan. Now the Rowan style bag is not a style that I've been a fan on, fan of. I'm not big on barrel style, style bags. I don't care so much for them. But if you notice anything from my collection, you see that most of the bags I have are small bags and I love small bags and I love mini bags. So I'm really on a mini bag phase right now. And so when they brought out the mini Rowan, I fell in love immediately. And I told my essay from Coach Outlet, I said, just put that bag on hold for me because I want it. And then I went in the store and I picked it up and they didn't do as much of this bag. A black color they either did and it sold out really fast or they didn't but then since this one they brought out so many other variations there's some that are embossed there's different colors but I love this one again because of that cross grain leather honestly coach out that cross grain leather may feel plasticky and cheap but it you can't deny how durable it is that is what makes the bags durable and if you get it in the right style it really doesn't look cheap at all and i think this one is one of them i use this bag all the time i still used it this weekend i used it yesterday you know i did a what's in a bag if you go watch my vlog and you can fully see how much it can contain it's a mini bag but it does pack a punch i love wearing it crossbody but it's also great you know, when I'm in my car, I can just grab it like this and go out. And then when I get out, I put it on crossbody. So I love this bag. It's small, but it's great. Like since I got it in June, I've used it quite a ton. I switched into it right after buying it from the store. Like after work, walking out of the store, I switched into it immediately. Like if you just want a very nice casual black bag, this is my recommendation for you. And then in June, Coach also had their semi-annual sale. So just like the holiday sale, but in June, um, which is a great event to buy anything you've been looking for. And I used the opportunity, I took the opportunity to buy two bags during that sale. Um, one I got in June and the other, I think it came in early July, but I got both of them during the semi-annual sale. And that is the Tyler Carrier and the Coach C chain belt bag now this is the main one that i wanted i wanted this for about two years now and i eventually got it during the semi and also i think it was about 40 percent off i specifically wanted it in chalk because i don't have any chalk bags and i like the tyler in chalk now this is very similar to the molly it is not the equivalent of the molly at the boutique that one is the um willow tote but the, the tyler is also similar it has the same configuration three pockets with two open ones and then one middle zipper compartment and i appreciate that style again for uh work totes and so this has been a good work tote for me i use it a lot in the summer and in the fall i decorated it different ways with different charms this was the last way i dressed it up before i put it aside for winter I'm, I'm not using this bag in the winter at all but i used it in the fall and this is how i dressed it up. absolutely love it it is in this beautiful pebble leather and i 100 percent will recommend this tyler carrier this is in the smaller size there's one size bigger than this i think so yeah i just i have nothing but love for this bag so also from the semi and also i bought this belt bag and i raved so much about this bag I know a bunch of people bought this bag because when I went to check my links, my affiliate links, I did see there were quite some purchases of this bag. This one came in black and in chalk and I absolutely love the black. I think it looks so luxurious because of the chain strap and because of that. See there also because it is in a plain and neutral color. I just love it. I use it mostly for like walks and things like that. Um, I haven't used it much because I got it in June, so I used it mostly just in the summer, so like June, July, I think a little bit in August, and that was it. But I highly recommend that everyone have at least one belt bag, waist bag, fanny pack in your collection because they do come in handy and they serve their own purpose. Okay, so all the damage I did was obviously at the beginning of the year. <laughs> 
<laughs> so after the semi-annual sale in June, July, I was like, you know what? I have to put a break on it. I, there really wasn't much that I was interested in anyway, except for the few totes in signature denim and in the pillow puffy version, which I didn't eventually get. I might if it's on sale at the reserve section someday. But anyways, after that period, I didn't buy anything at all. In fact, the, the remaining two bags that make up my entire collection for the year, I bought in October and in November. And so in October from uh, the Coach Outlet reserve section, I bought this camera bag. Again, this is a style that I have raved about so much on my channel. If you last watched my last couple of videos, I've talked about camera style bags a whole lot. Just like belt bags, I think it is one style that everyone should have at least one of in their collection. And I think this one that I have is the perfect, perfect version of a camera bag. This is the Coach quilted version with this ton lock pocket in front. They don't make this anymore, which is why I found it at the outlet reserves. So it was already in the reserve section. Really nicely discounted. I think I got it for about 60 or 70% off. They do have another version currently at the boutique. So it is a boutique bag. But I got it from the outlet. They have a new version at the boutique, which is each equally quite nice. Just has that C logo there, and I would also recommend that. So yeah, uh, nothing to say about. It. It's just a simple camera bag, which goes well with any and every outfit. I actually have this on my door as an easy grab and go option whenever I'm running out the door. But it can also definitely be dressed up as well. So love this one. And then in November. Coach gave me a beautiful surprise and released <laughs> the hot bag in this beautiful quilted soft Napa leather. So this is my most recent purchase. I bought this one full price. Absolutely zero regrets. This is one style bag where you either love it or you hate it. It's a novelty piece, so it's not for everybody. I don't find it difficult to use at all. I do currently have a chain strap. On it, it comes with a leather crossbody, but I bought this dinky chain in the black copper to complement it because I think it goes really well. I have two very recent videos on this bag, so I'm not going to talk your ear off about the hard bag. It's been trending recently, so I'm pretty sure you know so much about it already. I do not have any wear and tear on the leather, but I do have some wear and tear on this uh, D-rings here where the straps connect and that's because it is made of gunmetal um, pewter hardware rather and coach pewter hardware does chip and I cost the chipping I'll, I'll tell you that firsthand because I was trying on different straps and there are some straps that will scratch um, that hardware so apart from the chipping on the D-rings no other wear and tear on this bag. I only just got it in November, so of course I haven't used it a whole lot. I think I've probably used it about three times, once to a formal dinner and twice on casual occasions. And it worked really, really well all three times. Well, that is all of the 20 bags that I purchased this year in 2022. Oh my God, I can't believe I just said that out loud. There are, however, two bags that I think deserve honorable mention. But first I'm going to talk about one other bag, which I did purchase in April when I was in the US from Tory Burch outlet. I can't remember the name of that bag uh, anymore, but I bought that bag and I eventually let go of it. I gave it to someone because I didn't, I liked it, but I, 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 I had buyer's remorse because I felt I didn't really want it. And I just, maybe just because I, when I saw it in store, I just liked it. And then when I took it home, I was like, why, why did I buy this bag? It's not a bag that I love. And so why is it even in my collection? So I gave it to someone that I knew would really appreciate and enjoy having that. Now there's two other bags that were gifted to me during the year that I thought should be mentioned as well. In May, a friend of mine and I went shopping at the mall and she kindly gifted me this Kid Spade bag in this beautiful rose gold metallic leather. This clutch is so simple, so beautiful, so timeless at the same time. I've used it only once because I think it's a, it's a dressy clutch and I don't go to that many dressy occasions, but I have used it once, paired beautifully with royal blue and light blue. Like you'd be surprised how well jewel tones go with different colors like it's practically a neutral bag and all you can see here as far as logo is the kid spade very tiny there also in rose gold so really it's very understated but very classy at the same time and i really appreciate the fact that i was gifted this so yeah i thought i would mention that got it in may used it only once this i got in november this was also a gift 
and I absolutely love this one. This is one that I wanted. Now the Kate Spade one, like I didn't even know about it before we went into the store. I'd never seen it before. And I was kindly gifted that because I thought it was a beautiful bag when I saw it. This I knew about immediately it came out. This is the Kate Spade Sam Icon Hobo Bag in the color Starlight. And I knew about it immediately. Kate Spade released it and I knew I wanted it. And so when my boyfriend wanted to buy me a present, he asked what I wanted and I said I wanted this. So I was kindly gifted this bag. Uh, we got it on sale. It's such a beautiful bag. And since I got it in early, late November, I've used it non-stop. I've used it on weekends. I've used it to run errands. I've dressed it up formally. It's just a beautiful bag. Very easy to use because it only has that clasp uh, magnetic closure then you just have that open interior one compartment you have your crossbody strap so you can use a crossbody no wear and tear on this so far it is patent leather with a shiny metallic finish um, but no scratches everything looks good for like a bag I've had for less than a month but I've used more than some of my other bags that I've had the whole year so I'm very very happy with this bag in my collection and that is everything guys i know i've talked your ear off a lot but i hope you found it useful the year is winding down i am so grateful for all the things i've included in my collection even for the things that i've left my collection i'm just grateful for a wonderful and fruitful year in a way of taking stock of my life and the year that we've been through or that i've been through i did film a vlog recently on my preparation towards christmas and i'll link that one here so you guys can watch and see all of the things, all of the things I've been up to the weekend before Christmas. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in this one. Bye.